Hey everyone, it's Argonath here from The Right Way, and I uh, got a video here about a crazy socialist student in America. This was actually filmed and posted on YouTube in 2019, so it's uh, been a couple of years, but I just came across it today in my news feed uh, because I've been watching quite a lot of Charlie Kirk, who was the founder of Turning Point USA. So if you're on the conservative side of the political agenda or the political realm, then um, Charlie Kirk is really amazing speaker. You should check out some of his videos on YouTube but let's have a, a watch and a listen um, to this I'm against the death penalty totally and I think I think we should be it's too expensive all right so let's have a listen to this crazy student um, so I'm against the death penalty totally, and I think I think we should be. It's too expensive. I don't think the state should have the power to kill somebody. So, because um, I'm pro-life from womb to tomb. So that's a pretty reasonable statement, right? So he's conservative, but he doesn't believe in the death, pen death penalty. He's pro-life from inception to when someone dies, right? So that seems like a pretty um, normal point of view. They shouldn't have a power to kill somebody. Do you think they should have a power to put people like in prison for life? Of course. <laughs> so if you think that the state shouldn't have the power to kill somebody, do you think you should be able to put them in prison for life? Well, if you do something really bad, yeah, of course. And that's exactly what Charlie is saying here. There's absolutely, there's a difference between so the execution and the permanent. So you I mean, if you're if if you kill, not arbitrary government power. Over well, it's not arbitrary. So let's use an example like Dylan. <laughs> an arbitrary government power. Like if you commit a crime, it's not arbitrary, is it? It's because you bloody committed a crime. It's just amazing the examples that Charlie comes up with, and this this I don't, I don't, crazy or idiot. I don't know what what to call this person. Uh, he's out of his mind, that's for sure. Dylan Roof, who killed nine people in South Carolina at the church, you know that mass shooting. He should go to prison for the rest of his life. I'm like, I don't think he should go to prison. You <laughs> he's against prisons. He don't think that that person who killed nine people in a church should go to prison for life or should go to prison at all. You don't think Dylan Roof should go to prison? I don't think anybody should go to prison. <laughs> so he doesn't think anyone should go to prison. What the freaking planet is this guy on? <laughs> Let's carry on. So you don't think that the guy, the Columbine shooters, should have gone to prison? I don't think anybody should go to prison. Or the, new, the, or the Newtown shooters that killed the entire preschool? Why do you keep asking these questions? Why do you keep asking these questions? Because you're an idiot, that's why. <laughs> it just doesn't register this person that what he's saying is totally incompreh incomprehensible to anyone who is actually normal. It, it, it's a stunningly radical thing to say. I, I believe that we should in, implement restorative justice. I don't think that prisons actually prevent crime. And I think that mostly people support retributive justice as an emotional so, so, reaction to bad things. And I I know, I understand that if there is an urge, like an urge to punish people, I disagree with that. What about Dylan Roof, who killed nine African Americans peacefully worshiping in a church in Charleston, South Carolina? If he was still an active threat, I think there is, I am totally advocate of self-defense. I'm an advocate of gun ownership, and I'm an advocate of... So you would say no imprisonment for Dylan Roof? I say no imprisonment for anyone. <laughs> No prison for anyone, but he's pro-gun, so what are we going to do? We're just going to have mobs running around with guns, stealing things from other people, and if you have a gun, you can fight back, and then we'll just have bloody shootouts all over the place around our suburbs and cities. <laughs> I'll just go back to the Wild West, I guess. Even they had sheriffs back then in jail, didn't they? This is ridiculous. So what would, ha what would happen to the mass murderers, then? I don't believe they should go to prison. You can keep okay, asking. But how, that, how about the rapists? Do you think rapists should go to prison? Let me I don't clarify think something. Should go to prison. Real quick. I will say that over and over okay, then what again. Them from Real quick. quick. Doesn't think that even rapists should go to prison either. They can just go around raping anyone all over the place that they want to. I mean, that's, that's just terrible, right? It's just amazing what these socialist people actually believe in. This is what's happening on colleges and campuses in the US. I'm in New Zealand, so I'm starting to see some of this kind of stuff happening on our campus. Not quite to this level, but there's definitely a bigger left uh, left turn of our universities. Just look at um, our free speech being curtailed on universities, right? 
uh, we had a speaker, Don Brash, who's a right-wing conservative. Um, he said some things which were true, but a lot of people said that they were racist a while back when he was trying to go f to become um, leader of the country. And um, basically he's been labelled a racist, even though what he said was equality for all races, but that was de determined as racism. He was not allowed to speak on, on campus. Um, we had um, scientists come out and say that science, science should be about um, science and the method of science and evaluating results and so on, not based on traditional um, indigenous people's view of science. And they were basically um, tried to be cancelled as well. One of them actually resigned from his post because the university did not support him. So this is happening on our campuses as well in New Zealand. So it's just, we have to look at these things going on. We have to try and guard it. If you have children, um, that are growing up, just be aware that this is happening in the education system and it's up to us to make them normal and see things normally and have a centrist point of view, not right or left, in the centre. So some things we want to look at from a left-wing lens, some things we want to look from at a right-wing lens, but we don't want to go too overboard on those particular things. I just thought this is a very interesting video, it just shows you the mindset of these types of people. All right, that's it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like this video, give it a thumbs down if you wish, that's fine. If you've got any comments to make about the uh, idiotic person in the video, then I'd love to read them. Um, and obviously you can search up Charlie Kirk, Turning Point USA. Um, some amazing videos on there. He speaks a lot of sense um, about how people can get out of poverty. But because it's right wing, he's labeled a misogynist, he's labeled a bigot, he's labeled a racist. Um, but um, he's got some really amazing stuff there. So if you, if you are all conservative bent, go and watch some of his content. It's really good. Anyway, that's it for this video. Hopefully I will catch you in the next one.